People take a look, yeah, beloved and revered. So that's our example right here. You know, Michael there, who is a quadriplegic but who wants to sit with you. So, if yes, if we can designate him a kupuna today, yes, yes, we are mamnas here. We are Kadaka Maoli.
So what I'm going to say to you guys right now is we have never been prouder. And I'm looking at all of you and what you are doing for yourselves and for everybody, for all of us and for this Mauna and not just for the Mauna but for all mountains. From the mountains to the seas, the waters and the lands and our life ways and the next seven. This will be the question. Where were you on this day? That will be asked for life and times eternal. And we will say we were right here. And those who are standing with us everywhere around the world will say where they stood on this day, but they stand with you. I just got off the phone with LaDonna Brave Bull Allard from Standing Rock oh, yeah. and Sacred Stone. I told her you were here. Oh gosh. And you know what she did? <laughs> Lili, 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 Lili. Yeah. Yeah. Malia has done the same for them. That is what we do. So patriots, we are proud of you today because you stand on the side of Pono and Pono will always prevail. Yeah. And the Mauna is watching, the Bao Akua is here with us, the spirit world, the prayer surrounds you. Know that we are still here on the side of Pono. Yeah. Yeah. And the prayer is strong and they will lift us and they will keep us and they will hold us. Today is the very best. Yeah. 
And still I would recall the beauty of the Now to any land you go, she will be with you.
Kapo <coughs> Okay, ha ha ka na ao ka ikea ka ko paka ia ka. Ke aloha nui. Ke aloha nui. Ke manawa e ia. Ke ali i nui o ka pohai o ka memea. Ali i William Roback e mo o lelo na ka ko mahalo na ka holo e ana mai. of uh, Kumpuna that went before us. I am very happy to be here with you today. To let you know that we support you in all that you do here. Make sure that we stop the bleeding that our people have suffered over the years. I'll teach you something you don't understand what we're doing. And the law order stands behind you with this. I know that uh, you take. I am away from your family to show not only those that are here now on the government side, but the people of the world that we are truly the people of Hawaii and that we stand here in support of our kupunas that went before us and those that are here today that have sacrificed your day to put yourself in this uh, position 
people people and to makukuna i say mahalo mahalo mahalo
Thank you for being here and the people in our family and loved ones. I get my wife outside here. She's more worried about me than she is. The temple for Muslims, for others, for Jews, but for indigenous Hawaiians. We have a right to worship the Creator in the environment of our belief. For days we have asked to remove the gates so that we can pray. The presence is an insult to the Aku. I'll not be touched by those gates that are nails in the uniform. Where's the Hawaiian? Is there a Hawaiian woman? Yes. Stand back. Hemu! 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 We must take, I must take, the anger and the aggression that welled up within me. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to transform it into something very useful and something productive. So I call upon each and every one of us. We will continue to abide by Kapu'alo. Let us rise up. Let us stand. Let us stand in the demeanor. Let us stand in the character. Let us stand just as those who stand upon the Mauna. And especially for the younger leadership that shows themselves forth. They come forward with incredible character. With great charisma. They come forward with clarity of mind and heart. They speak with an articulate tongue, the alacrity of which is astounding and just stunning. If I wasn't older than them, I would say, when I get older, I want to be like you. <laughs> Instead, I just have to say, oh, try to set a better example, because people are watching. In Akane, in Awahine, I know there's Mahu out here. Because I know we put the call out to them too. Everybody's here. Here's what we're going to do. Right now we're currently in the um, in our convoy. And this is in response to the arrest of our uh, Na Tupuna. Um, and for the injustice of our people. So we're uniting on every moku to stand with Mauna of Akea. Mahalo! The, the pork is being stopped uh, from getting there on time. 
As you can see, we uh, are living in a police state and it's illegal to be Hawaiian. It's illegal to be Kanaka Maoli, to just exist. And we can't live without our lives. But the system, the settler state under which we live is literally built upon our erasure. So we have to fight tooth and nail for everything. And that, that's what this, this thing is about. It's about uh, just that. They're, they're trying to... They're trying to corral destroy. us like we're cows or something. Like yeah. a box. And they're trying to just pump in a new reality. Which yeah. we're gonna carry around with. Do you think we're sheep? We're not sheep. We don't follow. But it is a kind of eradication. This is this is for high. This is for like a lot of a lot of reasons why they're doing this. But in part, they're just really trying to re remake things into a manageable image and manageable. Yeah, efficiency. It's. Um, but it's a deadly game. It's draconian and it's genocidal and we're not going to accept that yeah we're not going to accept genocide we are going to live through the power of aloha and we are overcome the love of power because we have the key to life another one i hope that's not another one of ours the key to life is our relationships to each other to this aina they think they could like arrest it. They think they can arrest Aina. They think <laughs> they can uh, control Aina. And they think that Aina is weak. But I cannot think of a more powerful existence than that of Aina. Aina is everything that nourishes, everything that tenderizes, everything that loves, everything that creates and sustains life is Aina. And you cannot extinguish that. And we will fight on forever and ever. Especially yeah. for our kupuna, especially for our na keiki, especially for our na oma kua, especially for kia kua. All of these divine forces have converged in a most spectacular way as we protect our sacred mauna, which is located on Moko Keave. However, the mauna is also in our bodies. The mauna is in our soul. And kulia ikonu'u. The mauna reminds us to strive for the highest excellence and that excellence looks like love in the most honest and purest and most trusting forms i could look at these people now and i don't know them these people driving in this convoy i don't know them from adam a lot of them but i know them and it is that paradox, that seemingly oppositional forces of the familiar and unfamiliar that leads us into this uncanny realm of transformative possibilities. And that's what I love about Aloha Aina. That's what I love about the Mauna Kea movement and 
our protectors. To remind the world that another way is possible. We don't have to be predatory. We don't have to be killing each other. We don't have to be tearing each other down. It's not simply our country. This is our homeland. This is the reality. Yeah, and, and it's also that place where the divine and the reality come together and nourish our na'al. You know? This is the place that birthed our ancestors, our kupuna. So when our kupuna were arrested on that mauna, we felt that pain. It was so painful. So painful. And you can see all of these kanapas, they're hurting. And, and they're celebrating life in the pain. And that is so powerful. And that's why I had to come home. That's why my Evie called me home. Because we have a purpose here. And in fact, more of our Kanaka need to come home. Just come home, honeys. Come home, baby. Don't be scared of all of this, you know, capitalist flashy flash flash. We are the descendants of the original inhabitants of this Aina. And we can reclaim our Aina with our relationships and the power of our Aloha and the power of our breath and the power of our souls.
she would say, yeah, you gotta disrupt them, the commerce, yeah? Uh, you, you gotta stop every convoy, bro. Yeah. The ports, yeah. So I guess it went to the airport.
up to us what we say our practice is. Get ready, Kaimona. You get to go home. Appreciate every time you lay down on your couch, on your bed, when you go get to eat what you want to eat, and you think of our brothers and sisters, our aunties, uncles, and our kupuna, who they arrested today. You don't forget them. When the call goes back out, you're ready. The call comes in at midnight, you're ready. Call comes in at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you're ready. Let's roll, let's mobilize. So we will see you all back down at the Capitol. Monica is sacred to our people. Monica is our temple. Monica is special to us as Kanako. And whatever is going to, this has to stop. Look at what we see. We see on the Mauna, every last law enforcement, and don't get me started, about how is it possible that Oahu and Maui law enforcement goes to stand with Hawaii law enforcement? Who, who, who gives the okay for this? On top of calling the National Guard in the name of security. That reminds me of the Committee of Safety back at the time of the overthrow. Because the foreigners were worried about what? They were worried about their property and interests. He's instigating violence against the Kanaka, peaceful Kanaka up on the Mauna that is there to protect our Mauna. It is a place sacred to us as Kanaka, it is the people, it is the home of Wakia, our father. And what, what's happening now is with the Kukuna being arrested this morning, a lot of us are feeling deha. I mean, my boss, I was at work today, I walked out, I left my purse, I left my office, I just walked out. I, I told my boss, I cannot, I'm too eha. And you know what she told me? She's a kanaka too. I'm eha too, go. And that's just how it is, it's kanaka. They would hit us right at our people today. They would hit us right in our na'au. And so we gotta stand. We have to stand and every day until this camera stops. We cannot sell our, our culture in Waikiki and then do that to our most revered Kumuhula, our most revered Kumuhula on the Mauna. Arrest them, take them away in wheelchairs. We're in wheelchairs. Kukia Imauna! Kukia Imauna! Kukia Imauna! Kukia Imauna! If you don't know Ole, if you don't know Ula, if you don't know Oli, I bet you know how to carry a water bottle. If you can cook, you cook. If you can clean, you clean. If you want to do what you can in whatever capacity, you pour out. Show them how to pull up. Show them how to learn how to apple. Be in the space. Bring them in the space. Because it's everybody's. It's ours. And if there is Kanaka that are not Maori, so be it. They want to come home. Show them how. That's still a goal. If they want to be a part, if they want to partake however they can, whenever they can, 
wear everything that. Everything's viral now. We have support all over the world. We're still getting it. But we need more. And it's only when we really get all the ones together like how we are. And follow who all. And take what we've already learned and push all of that forward. It's in our chance, it's in our marriage, it's in our the owl, it's in our voice. As you see, a thousand mile journey starts with a single step. Some people gotta start with training rules, okay? <laughs> At some point or other, that training rules can come off. Hello, um, Aina Kako. Hello. Mahalo Nui Loa. Mahalo Molokai um, for this um, this very wonderful gift. Um, I know I know the challenges that Molokai faces um, economically, with jobs, and I know this is a big sacrifice. Um, a very meaningful gift, um, but it's, it's very powerful. I know, you know, early on when we were envisioning and strategizing a way to protect the Mauna, um, we said, "Oh, if we can get 500 people, I think we can we can hold them." But we never dreamed um, that would be this big. <laughs> Um, and we're very grateful and, we, and to see the Lahui come together not only here on the Mauna but on every island coming together to, to, to come in unity and solidarity and Lokahi um, and all our Kanaka, our diaspora in the U.S., in the States coming together has been um, just amazing and and meaningful it's been hard for me um seeing all of our kupuna getting arrested and functioning as a police liaison where i'm right in front talking to the police negotiating with the police it's just been a real heavy burden But I'm very proud. I'm very proud of our Lahui Kanaka. And a lot of people said we couldn't do this. And we're showing them, despite all of their media propaganda and their campaigns against us, to frame and stereotype us as as druggies and alcohol abusers. But yet we see the Lieutenant Governor can walk among us and be welcomed with Kapu Aloha and the mayor. And we can teach them through demonstration of Aloha. And I just heard the news today that the Royal Order has declared that this Pu'uhonua will remain a Pu'uhonua for all eternity. That means a lot. <clears throat> I know myself and Kale Kwa, we've been always trying to organize direct action and taking matters into our own hands and we've dreamed of we dreamed of this and the dream has come true. And I want to say mahalo, mahalo to all of you, mahalo to Molokai, mahalo to our kupuna for inspiring us and leading us. And I can tell you right now, I'm gonna take this money right now and go to Hilo and buy another tent for the kupuna. Yeah. <laughs> Mahalo Nui. Uh, Bilina me ki aloha. Ano ai? Awao ni o kalei kua ka eo. E keke papa no ka mokupu ni o Maui. Aloha yeah. Nui. Yeah. Oh boy. Usually I get plenty to say and loud but...
and guys know I've been saying this for a long time. And I will always say, the day we get 5,000 people here, we win. And I've always known, this is in our Lahui. The love of this place, Kaya Aina. Love for Lahui. Kalameke Kanaka. And the love really for the Moopuna to come. Will drive us to do whatever is necessary to bring about not just a better future for us here, but if I've always said, I know in my heart, Aloha, Kapu Aloha, and the teachings. can help heal the whole world. That even the most powerful military forces that are out there, with the threats of military tactics and violence, can be overcome with love for one another as human beings. You know, there's not too many places in the world that's been stepped on like Hawaii for generations. And I used to always say, hey, if that's the best they get, we get them beat already. <laughs> and, um, you know, one of my heroes, this past week, well, not this weekend, but the, you know, the weekend before that, that important Monday, when we were able to lay ourselves on that cow cattle gate, I took Uncle Walt up there, kind of gave him the plans, and I, and he turned to me, and says, "I'm in," and I said, "What do you mean you're in?" <laughs> he says, "I'm in," <laughs> and I knew at that moment. This was the beginning of something which would grow, not just for us, but I, as I said, the whole world is watching. That essence, that mana, from the cosmos, from the very beginning, Okiawi Kahuli, Vela Kahonua, that mana that created everything, that's that same mana that's in every, in every one of us. And not any one of us has the answer for the future. But our collective mana together has the answer that we are seeking to take us where we need to go as a people. And what better place than in the shadows of our kupuna, Mauna Wakea. And so I just like to say I really appreciate when you see, when you see the opportunity, the aloha that's come out from our people. You know, it was always late. It's always been there. It was always about the opportunity. Not what we can get. As I always say, there's no such thing as a t-shirt nation. <laughs> Unity is not something anybody can give us. Unity is something we have to take for ourselves. And we went up there and when he... When he laid down with me, I knew that was the beginning. First chapter. As Andre said, when they came on this past Wednesday, watching our kupuna, not just in, de and I don't use the word defines, that's the wrong word, but integrity. Integrity, the manna of who we are, standing, sitting strong. You know, there's nothing they can do to us to take that away from us. And then when I saw the Skupuna getting arrested and taken away, I could not believe that they were giving that to us. Because once that happened, I knew, and I've been saying this, in fact, our whole objective is starting with the idea. Once we get one Kupuna line formed, our people will rise just like the wisdom of our Kupuna of the past. The same bravery that allowed those canoes to first leave 
to travel the Pacific. That same bravery is still alive with us today. Yo. Yo. The same ingenuity. They made a kupuna, develop a society with a fish ponds and a lo'i. Being able to feed the masses. That ingenuity is alive amongst us today. Yo. The lesson of Lao Lima is alive and well here today. This is not something you got to read about in some old Hawaiian Studies cultural textbook. <laughs> you come here, we're living our true sense of who we are, our culture. So I just like to say, from the bottom of my heart, when I look at this kupuna, I mean, all the kupuna here, when they collected themselves, we brought out our trumps playing this game. <laughs> Trump tight. Trump tight. There's nothing they can do at this moment but to recognize we are no longer invisible. We will no longer not be heard. That we have come reborn to determine for ourselves the future of our mo'opuna. So with that, mahalo nui and nakupuna. Standing strong and showing not just our people, but the world of how we do it. Not just for here, but how the whole show, how the whole world needs to move forward. Mahalo nui. My mother's call. And oh, to to Kane and Mauna Kea, send their love to all. For to stand as one beneath the sun, and blessing from Kalaakala and our sweet Kaala. And wahi ale ale, where the greatest waters fall. Hawaii loa, Hawaii loa, kuli ke kako, kuma ame kalo kahiye kuhalame ka. Hawaii, 
Mahalo, Kiara. Mahalo, Kiara.